Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Pod. We are doing another unboxing and today it's a spectacular unboxing really. I'm so excited. We have the Cohiba Vehike 52 that we are getting out of this box. Let's see. So somewhere last year, a few weeks ago, we were doing an unboxing of the Cohiba Ciclo 6 and even that one was hard to get. But the Cohiba Vehicle, guys, that is something uh, you can look for it uh, like years and you were not able to find a box, maybe a single one somewhere uh, in a dark corner. But a box, I won't say it's impossible to get, but it's really hard to get. Even here in Germany, where we have like, uh, they call it La Casa del Habano, so they're Habano specialists, uh, they just rarely get a box of it. So I'm happy to get a box of this uh, Cohiba Vehicle. Um, I would say let's open it up. The outer shell of the Cohiba Vehicle is like a cardboard box they have. We have all the usual things that we were talking in other uh, unboxings like the Monte Cristo Double Ed Mondo or the Cato C. We have the Cuban warranty seal. We have the seal from the uh, German importer. Important thing is we have here the box date which is on every single Cuban box if it's an original. This here is telling us it's from. March 2020. You know the good thing about that they were doing a cardboard box around the real box. I'm showing you very soon. As usually we have here this ugly stickers like smoking kills uh, on the other side too. <sighs> Let's open it up. So guys, inside the box itself has another cover, like dark satin or something, don't know, but, and golden letters, golden letters, Cohiba Behike. Let's open this one up. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep, that is the box. And even then has another is covered by let's see here like plastic like cellophane. Um, but it's a nice looking box guys. So I was telling you why it's good that they were using a cardboard box around it because as you can see here on the on the real box on the real thing there are no stickers at all other than the German tax band uh, which is giving you the price it is holy shit <laughs> for 10 cigars like 467 euros that are 46 euros and 70 cents per stick that's probably around 50 dollars Holy well, hope that's worth the price. Well, it is. Okay, guys, let's get it out of this uh, plastic. Mm. 
really shiny. Look at this. And if you ever had a box of Cuban cigars, like regular Cuban cigars, that is real, they're made out of real cheap like wood. So that's something special. It's looking special and it is for a special cigar. We still have to open here the German tax seal. Okay guys, first look. <laughs> okay, a few papers and oh, let's see. <clears throat> nice notice, I will read it a little bit later. And then there is another sheet of uh, cedar, it's a cedar sheet. Did you usually notice we have here where is it coming from how do you store it and so on and then guys inside here we have like the real thing 10 Cohiba Behicus 52 <sighs> smells great let's get one out and see Nice pigtail. <sighs> Smelling great. Guys, you know, I'm not smoking this one now. Why? Because of the box state. Really, it's a good idea if you're getting like fresh Cuban cigars and the box state is, is, is somewhere in the last couple of months you better leave it there for six nine ten twelve months or so this one was from march 2020 so i will leave it here in the box for at least another three to four months before i'm even thinking about smoking one what i'm smoking today is <laughs> i mean not even close to a cohiba vehicle but anyway a good cigar it's the camacho nicaragua it was one of the cigars I had in my top 8 list of 2020. But, you know what? As a special, um, I have like an old Behika 52. Let me show you. We have here like 10 in there and I have another one which is in my humidor for at least three to four years and I will smoke this like next week or so and making a review about it and telling you how the Cohiba Behika 52 is tasting like. You know it's a fairly small cigar uh, but I will come to all the numbers and the names in a in a second. Another way to celebrate like my Behika 52 is a good whiskey. And you know what guys, I got this beautiful decanter here uh, from my wife uh, for Christmas. It's like from Peaky, it's the Peaky Blinder uh, decanter. Shelby 1990 and in there unfortunately it's not a Shelby whiskey it is a Highland Park 12 year old Highland Park like a good scotch uh, and I will drink this to or to celebrate like the unboxing of the Cohiba Behika 52 the whiskey so guys Cohiba Behike 
let's talk a little bit about a name. I'm not talking so much about Cohiba today because we've made like months ago or weeks ago um, a whole episode just about Cohiba. Why is it so expensive? Where is it coming from? How are they made? Etc. Etc. So if you really want to dig deeper into what's so special about Cohiba, check out that episode. Might be interesting. Mm. So the Bejica guys. First of all, Bejica is not even a Spanish name. It's coming from the Taino Indians, uh, so like the native people of Cuba. Um, and Bejica was like the, the shaman, the, ma the medic man uh, of a tribe. So that is uh, why that cigar is named like this. So, uh, and if you remember right from the Cohiba episode I just mentioned, um, uh, Cohiba, the name Cohiba itself was the name for uh, their kind of cigars. So also coming from the Taino language and it's just meaning cigar or what they what they back then were referring to to, uh, to uh, as a cigar was probably more or less just a bundle of tobacco leaves bundled together looking like a cigar that they were able to smoke. So Bejica uh, was the medic man, the shaman in the tribe. That's where the name is coming from. And what is so special about the Cohiba Bejica? Mm. Uh, one more thing about the naming. Uh, where I got the box? Uh, here I am. Um, on the box itself. Cohiba Bejica, that was, that's not what I was looking for. Um, ah, <laughs> oh shit, here it is. You see, they have you like BHK52. So of course, BHK, that's the abbreviation for Behika. And 52, that is, that is referring to the ring gauge. We have three different Behika lines. The 52, the 54, and the 56. And that's referring to the ring gauge of the cigar. So we have Behikas with a 52, 54, and a 56 ring gauge. A few more numbers and facts. Like I said, 52 ring gauge. And it's like 4.6 inches long. So, like I said, more is more cigar. But let's hope that it's really, really tasty. So, other than the names, and that it is a that it is a Cohiba, what else is so special about this? It's the it's the fourth line of Cohiba. They have four different lines. The first one is the Linea Classica. There are all their like the regular Cohibas uh, are in there, like the Lancero, for example. Um, then we have the Linea. Uh, 1492 uh, that is uh, like the Ciclo uh, uh, the Ciclo series is part of that and we have the Maduro number no. 5 uh, that's another series oh, and the fourth one is the Behica and other than all the special treatments Cohiba cigars gets and all the privileges like the first pick of tobacco and so on there's their, their special saying is that they have a, a force filler, so a force uh, tobacco leaf as a filler. And they call it Fortaleza 42 or 4. Uh, guys, let me check. I have some notes here. Yeah, Fortaleza 4. That's the force filler uh, that they are used, that they are using in the Cohiba Bejica. Mm. And that is like when you when you when you 
imagine the tobacco plant uh, and we have like leaves that are really at the bottom and we have leaves that are really at the top and um, the the fourth tobacco leaves that are using as a filler in the Cohiba Bahica are the top two leaves that are really that are really where and not every tobacco plant are growing to an extent that they can use the real upper leaves over there so not only Cohiba has the first pick on the best tobaccos they also have to choose the right plants in order to get these special leaves in order to put it in the filler holy shit <laughs> that's a lot of work probably um, does this fact justify the price guys man i don't know uh you have to judge for yourself it's that if that is worth uh that amount of money uh if you want to spend it for a cigar or not mm. if you're not only smoking cigars but collecting cigars like i do it's definitely worse because you know i'm not going to sell cigars but if i would like to i could easily you know i paid like 467 bucks for this box i could sell it right now for like double the price uh, if you if you're presenting like the cohiba behika box on instagram or so you're getting like like mails in your inbox uh, requesting if you're selling it <laughs> so but no i'm not selling it uh, i'm i'm collecting it and later on uh, somewhere in the future i will probably smoke it oh we had this one note that was falling out uh, let's check what's uh, what what they are saying there Shall I read it, guys? Let's see. Cohiba Behika is made in extremely limited quantities using an exclusive selection of the best Cuban tobacco. Okay. The plant of filler leaves is in its three vitolas, BHK 52, 54, and 56, incorporates not only the finest Volado, Seco, and Ligero, from the best Vegas of San Juan Martinez and San Luis or San Luis but also for the first time medio tiempo that comes only from the top two leaves guys I was right <laughs> um, medio tiempo that's how they calling it the top two leaves uh, that comes only from two top leaves on sun grown plants and delivers exceptional character and taste and then in bold letters, they are saying Cohiba Bejica is the ultimate expression of the taste and aroma of the Habano. Okay. Guys, I just say we will figure that out when we are smoking this one over here. Uh, I'm very excited. I had my last. I had my last Cohiba Bejica easily two or three years ago and back then it was I think it was a 50 56 I had I'm not even sure right now if I ever smoked a uh, Behika 52 uh, so it will probably be the first time I'm smoking it um, I hope you're excited as I am smoking this cigar and see if it's if it's uh, worth all the hype and so on what I can say for today is the box is looking great the cigar is looking great smell is very good and everything what comes around with it is looking very high quality and looking man just great but we know uh, never judge a book by its cover so we don't know if the cigar is really good or not but we will check it out for now and the rest of the evening here I will stick to my Camacho Nicaragua and to my uh, Highland Park 12 year old scotch whiskey and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening I hope you will do the same thing guys 
that's my unboxing Cohiba Behika 52 I hope you enjoyed it I hope you can smoke some good cigars enjoy life most importantly stay safe stay healthy and I'll see you around at Smokers Bad cheers my friend